You know, sometimes it's good to just get away for a little while. Kind of cruise over some of the awesome, awesome builds that are happening here on the Colorcraft server. And I can't go into full detail about everything that's going on. Uh, some things are still in progress. Uh, but yeah, we've got we've got a lot of great builders here. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll be showing them off uh, fairly soon. But um, we we need to take a break. We need to take a break from the projects we've been working on because it's been taking us away from some of the really important things that we have failed to dedicate enough time to. And that is right here, our carousel. Look at this, this is a mess. Four llamas and they're just, they're just all, they're just all mismatched. They're all squished together. I think it's time to fix that. And what's, what's cool about it is you could ride one, but it's almost as if you're riding two. I don't want to ride two, I just want to ride one. But I can't. I can't do that. So we're gonna fix that. And this is a great design, by the way. I uh, I did take some inspiration from the Reddit, but um, yeah, I think I think it's time to update because you know since we've built this, we've we've come in we've come into uh, contact with some pretty awesome uh, blocks like the Prismarine, Prismarine block. That would be that would be pretty pleasant here. So I think today, I think today we are going to figure out what is happening outside of weird client server lag happening. Um, but yeah, what is happening so that these guys can, uh, just bunch up as soon as they're unloaded? Maybe there's a better way to go about this. Maybe maybe it's not minecarts, or maybe it's maybe it's just one minecart. I'm gonna gather some thoughts. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to do some experiments together. My name is the Mighty Beard and we are back here on the Clorecraft server sitting in the very, very nice casino uh, which overlooks the aquarium and the carousel, the carousel of shame. Andy, what do you think? What do you think about that carousel? You've got to look at it all day and it just... It's just a it's just a problem, man. Uh, we'll fix that. We'll fix that, Andy Pig Face. We're gonna make this so nice that everyone's gonna want to ride it. So, uh, so we're gonna do a little bit of experiments first. Let's uh, let's catch a sleep. Uh, so we're gonna run a, a few different experiments. The first one that I'm thinking is, you know, maybe maybe the track is not wide enough. You know, uh, and they're going too fast. So, like, maybe if we if we take one of these blocks, if we take one of these blocks out uh, on this side, and uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, uh, and we take this block out, maybe if we if we uh, if we make it a little slower, then we'll have a better chance to maybe not have them bunch up so much. So we'll have we'll have three powered rails on that side, three on this side, um, and then we'll loop it together. And uh, I've got I think I got more rails. Yeah, let's uh, let's plop these down. Um, because you know when I had first set this up, um, it's just a matter of like you know kind of pushing them onto the track, and then eventually they they all started to go in the same direction, like they kind of kind of bunch up uh come on come on okay so let's have you go a little bit that way have you go that way all right so with two of them um uh, maybe we gotta we gotta move these guys so let's bring him back all right so um it's a little better pacing actually i think it's about the same uh let's go ahead and take Let's go ahead and take those powered rails out and um, replace it with uh, regular rails. Maybe that's a little bit better. Let's go on this side and do the same thing. 
because we want we don't want this to be like a super fast ride. We just want it to we just want it to be evenly evenly paced. So uh, let's go ahead and all right. So they're back to bunching up together. Maybe that is too fast still. Um, all right, I'll take out that. Take out that track and uh, let's just do a single uh, a single redstone track. Is this a bit better? That's a bit that's a bit better. We just have to make sure that they, uh, you know, they don't necessarily, oop, they don't push the uh, each other. Um, all right, so that's good. That's good. It's a little better. It's a little better. They're evenly paced. What happens when we uh, when we bring uh, player three onto onto the field? Okay. And uh, player four. All right, so they're, they're getting kind of bunched up again. Um, all right, so just have to kind of help them a little bit. They're getting bunched up. All right. Experiment number two, um, I think what we want to try is maybe expanding this out. So say we'll have, we'll have three, three powered rails, uh, and we, we increase the radius, uh, so that they aren't, they aren't going at such, such a, uh, such a short, short distance. Um, so oops, let's break that. Let's break that. Come on. All right. So I think everyone should be on the track except for except for you for some reason. Get up there. And uh, you. Let's let's get you let's get you on on the track. I'm having a hard time seeing. All right. Let's try this. There it is. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Let's get out of the way. Um. So more powered rails and uh, an increased distance. I wonder if they're having, um, they're not getting the right momentum to, to go around. So let's just go ahead and uh, try to push these guys. Okay. Man, I keep falling down this hill. Um, all right. So that's not, that's not working. It's not working as I would hoped. So let's go ahead uh, let's bring this. Uh, let's bring this powered rail back. Excuse me. And uh, we'll we'll increase the speed. So we'll give we'll give uh, a full speed. And let's let's just watch this and see. Oh, and they just all bunched up together again. All right. Um, all right. That's that's not good. Okay. So we separated them. Separated them. Just have to get them all. Okay, so eventually they uh, they will uh, write themselves out. Okay, so maybe maybe it's just a matter of uh, spreading them out a bit, because this looks nice and it, I think it's at a it's at a good pace. Uh, we are getting a little bit of server lag. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and ride one. Okay, all right, that's feeling good. Yeah, that's feeling good. Uh, I think this is a much better, much better pace. It's about the same speed that um, that the original one was, but it just feels better, you know. Um, and actually, like, like I almost feel like, uh, yeah. And again, we're we're starting to bunch up a little bit. Okay, so experiment number three is going to be a little bit different, and. The sun is setting, so we don't have a whole lot of time. But I'm gonna break three of them out out of their uh, out of the cart. All right, and let's do him as well. Now, theoretically, uh, theoretically, they should follow. 
each other? Is that is that a thing I just made up in my head? I thought for sure if one was moving around, they would all follow. Uh, let's sleep. So uh, this experiment, this idea is uh, llamas in general will follow one another um, in a pack. So maybe maybe if I maybe if I ride this guy, we'll start seeing them come back. Nope. Uh, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, that is that is uh, that is sad. All right, let's uh, let's let's go ahead and snag these guys again. I was like, oh my god, a llama is up there. How did he get there? Oh. <laughs> you crazy wandering trader. Oh, man. Uh, all right, well, we're missing one. Uh, so I'm still on the search. Uh, I hopefully will be back here in just a moment if I can figure out where this guy, where this guy went to. We still got one in there. We've got two inside. Uh, yeah, let me let me locate this guy. I hope he didn't die. All right, so I've got a llama with me, and I'm just going to kind of walk around. Let's go ahead and get into... Oh, did I lose him? I lost him. Let's try it again. Uh, but the, the, the thought is, if you lead them, they, they will follow. Now, I was under the impression it was because they followed each other, but... Uh, maybe they only follow each other when they're on uh, when they're on a lead. Uh, if that's the case, that uh, that that changes things. So um, I don't understand why um, I don't understand why he jumped out of the cart. But okay, if I so yeah, so if I move around. They will. They will follow. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's not perfect, but it is. It is a thing that that is happening. So, um, all right. So now, if I push you in the cart, the other two are not going to follow. Hmm. All right. So that that uh, that was. We'll say that was a failed. Uh, experiment and I really feel bad for for you guy um, all right so that's not gonna work so I'm in a bit of a predicament I I was really hoping that lead trick would work but it doesn't uh, it does not do it because you can't put a lead on a llama, when it's in the minecart, it automatically pull them out. And as soon as you put a lead, a leaded llama in a minecart, uh, the lead breaks. So I don't know uh, what would resolve this because I think a lot of it is server related. Because when we started, when we started this project, it was a similar setup. You know, they uh, they they moved around, um, but yeah, it's like there is like this constant uh, speed issue where they just kind of bunch up. They're all on uh, they're all on one side, but at least they're not merging now. Um, I guess that's. I guess that's better, right? <laughs> it's hilarious though, right? <laughs> uh, all right, so um, I think we've spent enough time on this. We're going to let this sit. And um, yeah, uh, if, if you're watching this, if you've got some ideas of how, how we could, uh, you know, make this work, um, uh, just drop me a comment. Let me know. Um, is, there, is there something I'm missing here? But um, let's go ahead. Uh, we spent quite enough time doing experiments. Uh, right now, I think it's time to uh, re rebuild this um, so that it is uh, it is a bit nicer.
so I have been watching this uh, probably um, way too much, right? But um, I've been watching this, and um, what I noticed was that as the uh, as the llamas were going around the corners like that right angle, um, they were getting kind of hung up there, even without blocks. So I changed up the corner. And ever since I did that, um, they haven't bunched up. They've been sort of kind of um, evenly spaced out. They haven't. Yeah. So this uh, this is uh, this is crazy. Uh, but I think I think we might might have a solution here. And that was uh, a combination of things. It was. Uh, widening it out so they weren't up against that inside corner and they weren't bumping up on the outside corner, so spacing everything out. Um, I don't think removing the carpet did anything, but um, yeah, I haven't placed the carpet back. We might not even need to do that. Well, I might add it. We'll we'll see. I mean, adding carpet <laughs> as things are flying past is really difficult. You end up losing uh, pieces because of whatever that that bug is that happened. So, uh, but yeah, overall, uh, just looking at some of the changes we made, uh, adding these, these arcs, uh, I think, I think it's pretty cool. Um, we did remove the, uh, the gates, the outside gates though. So I might make some modifications to that because having the end stone, uh, working as those outside gates, I think was a nice touch. But I'm interested in hearing what you think. So uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Do you, do you think uh, the 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 changes that we have made um, have been um, an improvement, or do you think it still needs some work? the The color scheme now is a, a little off. I think um, I'm almost wondering if we should maybe get rid of the the red and change the red for maybe a maybe a green. Um, but uh, I don't know. It, it should be absurd, you know. It should be uh, obnoxious in 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 what's going on here. Mainly because this is Mushroom Ranch. This is our our Las Vegas type type deal. Um, so a lot of glitz and glam. You've got the redstone. You've got the uh, the glowstone uh, bits inside here. Um, so I I, I kind of want to keep it, but. You know, now that we've added these, um, I don't know, just something's a little off. But regardless of how it looks on the outside, what's going on in the inside, that is pleasant. And hopefully it stays this way, but we'll see. But that's it. My name is Muddy Beard. Thank you so much for, uh, for playing Minecraft with me. Uh, if you like this episode... You Please hit that like button. That lets me know that I'm doing, we're doing cool stuff here. Um, and um, yeah, if you want to be notified anytime there's a new episode, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, and uh, that'll give you access to a, a notification bell. You hit that bell, and it lets you customize the type of notifications you get. I, I usually choose all, but uh, that's just me. So, uh, but that's it. We'll play Minecraft again soon, very soon. See ya.